Hey guys, today Pixelmator Pro just dropped a big new update. It's called Mosaic version 3.3 and it's got some really cool new features. So I'm going to show you what's new today. Let's just dive right into it. The first new and probably most exciting feature is the new remove color feature pretty much works like a chroma key, but you can actually remove any color from one of your elements. So I mocked up this little fake Instagram post here, and I'm going to enable this video clip that's these spaceships on a green screen. I thought this might be a fun project due to recent events. And now I'm going to hit the A key for the color adjustments tool, or you can just hit this button right here for color adjustments. And you can see the remove color option is here. I'm just gonna to toggle it on and it instantly crops out that green background color. But like I said, you could choose any color from this spectrum to key out with the remove color tool. The remove color option has these sliders where you can really sort of fine tune your look. But another little cheat I might show you here is if you scroll up in your color adjustments to this selective color option, I'm going to select my green tones here and I'm going to dial up the saturation of the green tones. And you can see that kind of helps get rid of that halo around my spaceships. And then if we play it back, we've created this fun Instagram post that makes it look like the spaceships are actually like coming through our phone and super 3D. Now, before I get to the next new feature in Pixelmator Pro Mosaic, if you like this video, if you feel like you're learning something, let me know, give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. All right, the next new exciting feature in Mosaic are texture and clarity controls, which really can be great for, let's say, skin smoothing. So I've got this still photo here. Again, you can find texture and clarity under the color adjustments menu. And there's a couple different ways to work this one here. You'll see these sliders here now for texture and clarity. So if I dial up the texture, I can add texture, kind of brings out the freckles in her face. And if I dial it down, I'm really getting a very softened look there. Again, with clarity, if I crank it up, the image gets sharper. And if I dial it down, it gets softer. Now, what's interesting about these adjustments is that they look deceptively simple here in the UI, but actually the texture aware algorithm that Pixelmator Pro is utilizing here is actually very advanced technology and takes into account how human beings see light and shadows and really gives you a more natural look. I'm gonna reset these texture and clarity sliders. And if I were actually trying to smooth just her skin, this is how I would go about it. I would grab the quick selection tool and just select her face here. I accidentally grabbed a little bit of her lips and eyes, so I'm just gonna clean that up by holding down my option key as I click the areas I don't want to select. Then I'm going to hit this button here for select and mask and hit apply. And now here in my layers pane, you can see I have just isolated her face. I'm gonna turn on the original image layer again, but I'm going to make sure I'm selected on the image layer copy. This is one with the mask applied to just her face. Let's go back to the color adjustments menu and let's play with the texture and clarity there. And now you can see I'm softening up just her skin on her face and I'm not impacting the rest of the image. Now, if I look, Right at her hairline here, I can see kind of a sharp edge of my mask. I'm going to select that image layer, copy in my layers pane, and then right click, navigate down to mask and refine mask. And now I'm just going to sort of soften up the edges of that mask. So we're eliminating that harsh line. And if I hit apply, there you go. That looks a lot more natural. Let me show you a before and after with the skin smoothing. Now this method wouldn't work so well on video clips that you can bring into Pixelmator Pro because the quick selection tool doesn't really work like that on video clips. So let me show you how I would use the texture and clarity features to kind of achieve the same thing in a video clip. So I've got this video clip here of this woman practicing yoga. You can see that I've already done some color corrections to this shot and really her skin looks great. She doesn't really need a lot of skin smoothing, but what we can do is instead of using these texture and clarity sliders I showed you in the last example, we can toggle on this one here called selective clarity. And what that allows us to do is make those same adjustments, but only affect highlights, midtones, or shadows. Let's start with the midtones here and we could like reduce the texture on the midtones, which you can see is definitely affecting her skin. She's got a little bit of a scar here on her elbow that you can keep your eye on here. You can see if I dial down the texture, it sort of fades away. And if I crank it up, that scar becomes a lot more prominent. And same with the clarity. 
So I might kind of leave her skin adjustments there, but I could also fine tune other parts of this image. Let's head on over to shadow and I'm actually gonna crank up the texture on the shadow and the clarity. And you can see that what I've done is I've brought back the detail in her hair. If I turn this off and on, you can see how we've impacted this image. The last thing I'm going to do is head on over to the highlights. Now watch this white stucco wall here on this balcony. I'm gonna crank up the texture and the clarity on that. And now we get so much more detail in the stucco here in the whites. So again, if I turn that off, this is the original. And if I turn it on, that is what this video clip looks like now. And the last big new feature in Pixelmator Pro is a change to what are called stroke styles. So this feature really lends itself in my mind to if you wanna do call outs, let's say on a map or something like that. So I'm gonna take this line tool here and I'm going to draw a line over this globe. And I'm going to hit the add style button for this line. Let's select stroke. And I'm gonna increase the width of this stroke, maybe like so. And then I'm going to change it from color to gradient. Okay, now let me show you what's new here. If you hit this drop down here, you're gonna get this new pop-up window that has some new features in it. First of all, we could change the caps of this line to be instead of like squared off, right now they're set to butt. We could make them round, so that's new. We could also add shapes to the start and end of our line. So let's say I wanted the start to have this filled in circle, and then I wanted the end to have this hollow circle, I could do that. And then if I wanted to change the size of these circles, right now they're linked, I can unlock these two, unlink them, and shrink down, let's say the start circle, and dramatically increase the size of the end circle. I'm gonna hit the V key to go back to the arrange tool and kind of stretch out this line one more time. The next thing I'm going to do is go back to my shape tools and grab a ellipse shape. And I'm going to draw a perfect circle to fit inside this end cap here. And then in my layers pane, I have this image of Miami here. I'm gonna drag it to the top of my layers pane and I'm going to hit the V key to go back to the arrange tool. I'm just gonna shrink this image down and then right click in my layers panel on that cityscape and select create clipping mask. So now it fits inside that circle. Then it could group all of those elements and resize and kind of play with the position of them. Now, in addition to these three new features, Pixelmator Pro Mosaic has some performance enhancements and bug fixes always to be expected. Which of these new tools are you most excited about? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I picked out some other videos I know you're gonna love and I'll see you again.